Well, morning everyone. This is Jeffy Bear and he's outside of his bear den. Uh, yeah, we're uh, such a gorgeous day today. I thought I'd go outside and we're uh, on our way to Vancouver. And uh, we're at Port Oak Cove. One of the benches there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm winging it today. I woke up this morning, I don't know. Some of you might find it funny, some of you might not. But I woke up this morning and, uh, you know, it seems like every time there's uh, a lockdown or things get tighter, I see this commercial. And it was, uh, this morning I woke up and it's a, it's by a company and they make, uh, they make portable bidets. <laughs> And the caption is like, you know, something about, you know, need a little extra for your bum. <laughs> Anyways, I just find it hilarious. You imagine that? Van lifers having a portable bidet. Like when everybody's running in there trying to steal all the toilet paper. Now you got this bidet, portable one. I don't know if you're supposed to put warm water in it or cold water, but whatever. It sprinkles your bottom. <laughs> I just think that's just hilarious, man. I don't know. It's just, uh, I, <laughs> you know, it'd be like living uptown, downtown, in a van. I mean, what more could you ask for? You know, you can walk around and brag to people that, hey, man, I might poop in a bucket, but I got a bidet. Anyways, I just thought it was hilarious. I mean, I busted a gut. I, I had a hard time getting out of bed when I read that, but it just seems like all these things come out when there's a crisis. Like we might run out of toilet paper, <laughs> but yeah, that, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, I just back up to an old fashioned hose if I have to do that. But uh, yeah, but it's been quite interesting. Uh, I'm on my way down to Vancouver uh, with Mark. We're gonna split up once we get to Vancouver because he's gotta to go to Langley and uh, yeah. We're just uh, heading there now and we're taking our time because it's nice and sunny out. And uh, yeah, so we stopped here. I tried to put up a video this morning. Uh, I don't know if it's up yet. Uh, I think it's I think it's of me driving up a mountain. Now I did use music, but I got foreground music or I mean background music, not foreground. And it still seems a little loud, so you might have to turn down your, you might have to turn down your uh, volume or something. Uh, I do speak in it a bit, but it's not really important. It's just, you know, how far I went or what I think of the, you know, and that's it. And uh, yeah, that's about 13 minutes long. I mean, you can fast forward it if it gets boring, but uh, yeah, that's uh, one of my uh, one of my adventures that I was talking about earlier that I wanted to go up, and I only made it up a kilometer when I w went up with Emmy. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy that. You know, uh, I mean that's the best I can do with what I have without spending a whole hell of a lot of money on music and stuff like that, because. Uh, they know you need that stuff, so it's not cheap all the time. But anyways, I, you know, I, I try to keep it like simple. You know, I give you what I got. It's simple, it's basic, and uh, that's all it is. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, other than that, not much more is happening. I'm gonna head down to, uh, well, I'm gonna head to North Vancouver, pick up a few things, maybe do the laundry gonna hook up with Mark again tomorrow and we're gonna go down to Spanish Banks and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do our thing there and uh, I don't think he's ever been there he said so it's not really like a big tour but we'll uh, we'll see what we can do and uh, yeah then we're just gonna head out and uh, you know hook up again on Monday uh, so I can get my paint and it's supposed to be gorgeous the next few days um well i think about six days he showed me so we're going to try to get some of that painting done and uh hopefully it'll work out well i have an idea of uh wanting to put a like camo 
on my van. And I don't mean like camel, like a traditional camel. I mean, I'm gonna keep the van blue and I'm gonna keep it silver, but I want the silver to run into the blue or whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, other than that, that's it. Uh, and maybe, well, I will pick up my bumper and maybe I will uh, be able to hook it up. And if I do, I'll try to take a photo of that. And I have a film, maybe I can throw it up tomorrow if I do that today. Part one and part two of me putting, up, putting in my bumper. It's not all that exciting. And again, there's music, but uh, I, don't really, I don't really speak much, so. Uh, anyways, on that note, I hope you all enjoy your day. And I really, I really, uh, it's getting long, but I really, I really, I, I read everybody's comments, uh, you know, big or small or whatever. And uh, I'm really impressed with some of the stuff you've asked me. And I'm really, uh, I'm really happy. Like, uh, you know, you know, at times, like I, I looked at it that way, you know, when people, tell you stuff over and over and over again I mean you tend to you tend to you tend to sort of like you know you can't ignore it you, you, you tend to look at it and say yeah and you start believing it and it's like you know like and in, 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 in recovery programs they call that positive affirmation or something like that I think if I got that right but yeah it's a repeat over and over you know you're good you're this you're that and it's not too much like a you know, I don't want it to go to my head or nothing like that, because that wouldn't be good. I would never fit in my van if my head got too big. However, uh, yeah, no, it's just good to hear, and it's like uh, and you gotta, you, and you you have to sort of like put it to action. You gotta believe it, and you know, and it's, uh, it's taken a long, long time for me to uh, to sort of like look at things and do things, and you know, and really believe that, uh, yeah, you know. I can't believe like a lot of people, just the ones that comment, not all 10,000 subscribers, but the ones that comment, I can't believe that a lot of people get whatever I'm saying, get something out of whatever I'm saying. I really appreciate that. I mean, I've been talking for years, no one gave it, no, 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 not too many people gave a damn. Uh, and now it's like people say, yeah, keep, keep being honest, be yourself, you know, and that's really good. It's good for me that, that you're giving me therapy. I'm saving a little bit of money instead of going, instead of going to a, a doctor and saying, here, you know, help fix me. No, this stuff's really working. I was like, so it, I just want you to know that. Like, even though you're thinking, you know, you're you're somewhere doing your thing, living in a van, living in a stick and brick, it don't matter. You know, you are helping me if you know it or not. It, the only thing you have to do is believe that. I'm not just saying it and I'm not trying to blow smoke up your butt. No, we got a duvet for that. We'll put water. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Like, I mean, I, I, I really mean that. You really, you really helped me come along. I mean, friends of mine have told me that, like said, holy gee, you're not the same guy I used to know. And that was only like a year ago, half a year ago, you know? And uh, so I want you guys to sort of like give yourself a, a little because you 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 are really helping me more than you ever know and i'm glad that i'm able to help some of you or you be able to look at things or give you ideas you know the big thing is never give up live your life i know a lot of you are in pain i know a lot of you have a hard time but like i said you know when you get bored get your ass off out the chair and run around the chair a couple of times or walk around or do whatever you got to do you know, anyways, whatever you do, don't give up. Be kind to your, be kind to yourself and others. And, you know, I love you all. Take care. And uh, I hope someday we'll, uh, we'll bump into each other. I know there's a few people that are like in Ontario, Saskatchewan, a few places I'm going to go through. I don't know if I'll be in that area to, you know, province is fairly big but uh if i'm in that area yeah we can hook up or whatever i'll be doing this when i leave so and i'll be putting it out there anyways okay have yourself a great day hope you enjoy that film if it ever gets up and uh i love you all
take care and I'll uh, hopefully I'll be on tomorrow maybe not but Monday for sure okay peace